Hello everyone, welcome to this new video where we are going to solve these two equations without using logarithm or exponential functions. So please stay until the end of the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So we'll just start with the first equation and then after we'll solve the second equation in this same video. So let's start with the first equation. We have this 8 power x square minus 2x which is equal to the square root x of 1 divided by 2 power x minus 2 okay so i will first recall that if you have the square n of a this is again a power 1 divided by n so i will just apply it here so i will just give i will just have 8 power x square minus 2x which is equal to 1 divided by 2 power x minus 2 everything power 1 divided by x so this is again This is again 8 power x square minus 2x. This is again uh, 1 divided by 2 power x minus 2 divided by x. This is simply because I can just multiply this one with this one here. So that's why I got this one. Okay. So this is again 8 power x square minus 2x equal to 1 half power 1 minus 2 divided by x. So which is again, I will just decompose this 8. So which is again 2 power 3 power x square minus 2x which is equal to 2 power 1 minus 2 divided by x so again i can multiply this one with this one here so i will just get 2 power 3 x square minus 6x which is equal to 2 power 1 minus 2 divided by x can directly see that i have two here and two here so the powers are just equal so this means that i have three x square minus six x which is equal to minus one plus two divided by x and if I arrange this equation, I will just have 3x squared minus 6x. 3x cubed, sorry. 3x cubed minus 6x squared plus x minus 2 minus 2 equal to zero okay now i can directly see that i can take x here and x here and pull it outside so i will just have x outside of 3 x square minus plus one okay now i take uh, two from six and this two here so i will just have minus 2 times 3 x square plus 1 equal to 0 okay so i have the same terms here the same term here i can pull it also outside then i will have 3 x square plus 1 outside of x minus 2 okay 
is is equal to zero. So this means that the solutions are x square equal to minus one divided by three or x equals to two. Since I'm solving in R, so since I'm solving in R, I cannot consider this solution because the square of a number in R cannot be negative. So the only solution I will consider is x equal to 2. So the solution of my equation is 2. Okay. Now let's all solve the second equation. The second equation was okay, the square P of minus eight power three x minus two which is equal to minus two power x. So let's solve this equation so we can directly see that this is again minus 8 power 3x minus 2 everything power 1 divided by 3 using the property of the square root here okay so this is equal to minus sorry this is equal to minus 2 power x. Again, I can multiply this one and this one. So I will have uh, minus 8 power 3x minus 2 divided by 3, which is equal to minus 2 power x. So this again, I know that uh, minus eight, let me change my pen. I know that minus eight can be written as, can be written as minus two power three. Okay, so this one will just become my equation here will just become minus 2 power 3 everything power 3x minus 2 divided by 3 which is equal to minus 2 power x then i multiply this one with this one and i have minus 2 power 3x minus 2 because the 3 here will just simplify which is equal to minus 2 power x so again i have minus 2 here i have minus 2 here and minus 2 here so this means that i can just consider the powers as equal so this means that I have 3x minus 2, which is equal to x, which is equal to x. So this means that 3x minus 2 minus x is equal to 0, which means that this is 2x minus 2 equal to 0, This means that 2x is equal to 2. So Obviously, x is equal to 1. So this is the second solution to my equation. So thank you for watching the video. Like the video and subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment or any suggestion. Thank you.